Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Indian School of Physics, guys, there's nothing here and today I have come up with a very amazing problem from Pathfinder, it is uh, Snell's Law in Kinematics, it is chapter 1, uh, CYU 10, and guys, liking, sharing, subscribing is love, so keep sharing, keep liking, and keep subscribing, if you're new to the channel. Guys, this video is brought to you by Indian School of Physics and Unacademy together, and uh, uh, name of this problem is uh, Snell's Law in Kinematics and guys my current courses on Unacademy are course of INPHO Foundation and uh, for J Advanced 2023 on uh, 14th work power energy and uh, circular motion will be starting in this uh, batch and there is uh, another one emerge batch for J 2023 in this batch we will be starting uh, Kinematics and uh, another one is advanced course for J 2022 in this electrical instrument is one course and another one is magnetics these two courses will be starting from uh, 14th and 15th july of uh, respectively and another course is a course on rotational mechanics we we started this uh, last month and we are now towards the end of this uh, close to you can say angular momentum so this will be getting over very soon guys you can access my theory courses which are of advanced plus plus level for boosting your j preparation you can unlock these courses on unacademy using my code nathan sir and for more info you can visit www.unacademy.com and guys trust me physics will never be the same again so here is the problem statement uh, house h of an angler is at a distance d from the bank oa of a bay a o b so you can uh, see here this is a o b and at a distance l from the corner o so this distance is given as d and this distance is given as l uh, the angler can uh, walk on the ground with a constant speed v and uh, swim in the bay with a constant speed of u u is less than v related to water one day he decides at his uh, house to fish somewhere on the bank o b so somewhere here is going to uh, going to go for fish find the minimum time in which he can reach the desired fishing spot so guys here uh, on this line somewhere he has to reach and that location is not fixed all right so concept wise let's uh, discuss this uh, we can use snell's law for uh, or it is also called as fermat's principle in kinematics for solving such problem of minimum time whenever they are asking minimum time we can uh, think in those directions so it's a very simple one from point a to b uh, here speed is v and here speed is u and for minimum time somewhere here they, they are going to change their path so like uh, refraction of light and if this angle is theta 1 and this angle is theta 2 so Snell's law wise you can say sine theta 1 by v is equal to sine theta 2 by you so this logic we are going to use for minimum time now uh, one thing which is uh, given here is that reaching spot is not fixed all right reaching spot is not fixed so next part is if you look at this uh, diagram here the person is going to start from uh, this particular point and he can uh, reach here and then go somewhere he can reach here and go somewhere he can reach here and go somewhere else he can reach here and go somewhere else so this is how he has to move so let's choose a variable point on this bank we are choosing a variable point p it can be anywhere now once this man reaches here and then he has to reach this line ob in minimum time so definitely he is going to move in such a way that he will reach here in minimum time in order to reach here in minimum time he will just uh, move in a direction which is perpendicular to line ob because here speed is fixed and from this variable point the minimum will come for this perpendicular so at least this is fixed and we don't know how much this uh, uh, where exactly this point is so let me take this since this angle theta is given so and if this is 90 90 minus theta this angle is theta with the normal and i'll take this variable angle as alpha so if this this is normal here and this is also normal so if this angle is alpha this is also alpha here now this variable point p is let's say at a distance of x from o all right so first thing which we will notice is v uh, sine alpha by v and uh, 
that is that should be equal to sin theta by u that is the first uh, line i'm going to write sin alpha by v is equal to sin theta by u another thing is uh, this length x which is variable and it changes with the angle alpha so if you see this length is l this is d so this entire distance is known to us that is root of l square minus d square and this distance is d tan alpha in this right angle triangle you can see this distance is d tan alpha so x the remaining distance is nothing but uh, this is going to be uh, root of l square minus d square minus d tan alpha all right this is the value of x uh, now we have to minimize this time here so this t expression if i write t is nothing but hp by v plus this distance pm by u so that is what i have written hp by v plus pm by u this is the time expression and for minimum case for minimum case i can use this uh, logic of snell's law basically alpha is known to me for uh, minimum time and that is uh, nothing but v sin theta by u so here pm uh, this hp value is uh, hp value is uh, basically d by cos alpha so d by cos alpha by v d by cos alpha by v and uh, plus pm is x sin theta if this is going to be theta and this is x this length is x sin theta so x sin theta by u now this value of x i am going to substitute in this uh, equation and i am going to get entire equation in alpha now alpha value is known to me and uh, that is uh, sin alpha is equal to v sin theta by u so here if i substitute that cos alpha root of uh, 1 minus sin square alpha and similarly tan alpha values when i substitute and simplify I am going to get uh, this answer as uh, t minimum as sin theta by u plus root of l square minus d square plus d times u square minus v square sin square theta divided by uv times root of u square minus v square sin square theta. This is going to be the answer for this question which matches with the answer given in the book. So I hope guys you have understood this concept properly and this uh, trick also this method is quite handy. If you go by calculus uh, method it is going to be very lengthy and uh, very painful also. So that's it in this video. If you have enjoyed this solution please leave a like share this video with others and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it. I'll be coming up very soon with another amazing video. Thank you.